tomorrow. And so we're going to try uh, not to be long uh, on tonight. Uh, verse 45 of 1 Kings chapter 18. Try to see if we can connect it <clears throat> with your theme on tonight. It's the year of manifestation. I just want the eight clause it says, and it came to, to pass in the meanwhile. May the Lord add a blessing through the reading of his word. <laughs> Who are the hearers and by faith the doers on tonight? Y'all said you want me to be quick. <laughs> so we can't be quick if we do a whole lot of reading. Amen. <laughs> can't be quick. I certainly think that the contextual situation here uh, uh, as it's presented to us in 1 Kings certainly meshes with um, your theme for this 65th uh, year of celebration here uh, in the Illinois State Council, the first Episcopal District of the PCFI. Uh, <laughs> uh, the whole context, I think, is has connective tissue within it that deals with God and God's manifestations. I'm glad that uh, God is a God who indeed will manifest himself. The truth be told, uh, we can't know him without his manifestation. He has to be revealed. If God never revealed himself, None of us would ever have any concept, any uh, idea, any inkling of who he is. And that's why we always have to be mindful of the fact that we can never take credit for our salvation. Never take credit for uh, our having come to know him. We know him because in his sovereignty, he, he decided to unveil himself. And in his unveiling, he was manifested in our lives. And therefore, you and I are connected with uh, him on tonight. This passage uh, and the surrounding chapters deal with God. I mean, they deal with his revelation. And they deal with his manifestation. It really uh, actually puts emphasis Praise God on knowing God in truth. And that's an element that's missing today. Uh, the Bible says, as you well know, Jesus told uh, the woman he encountered at the well that God is spirit. Didn't he say that? <clears throat> they that worship him, they must worship him how? In spirit and in truth. Sometimes we want the spirit part, but we don't want the truth part. But it takes all of that working together in order, number one, to be a true worshiper of God and to be a participant in the activities of God and experience a continuing manifestation. I think about that conversation he had at the woman, with the woman at the well, the, even they were talking about God's manifestation. There was some discussion about where God was. Oftentimes when I think about that text, uh, it reminds me how people even today sometimes we try to locate God. Because you remember they talked about uh, locations. You remember the, that dialogue? So the Jews had him at Sinai and, <laughs> and the, the Samaritans had him in Mount Gerizim. And that's what brought about that statement from the Lord that if you're going to locate him, you got to move into the nexus of the spirit. And then you've got to uh, uh, be guided by uh, his word, which is truth. Somehow Israel had, had fallen off. Israel somehow had uh, lost their way. You know that. Uh, uh, that's why we, we read uh, this verse uh, it's God endeavoring to reel them back in, reconnect with them. Because somewhere along the line, they became disconnected from him. Just a few chapters prior, God will <clears throat> stir 
upper prophet who actually is, is active yet in this chapter. And he's going to have him go down and speak to uh, the man who sat on the throne. This man who sat on the throne we know by the, the name of Ahab. And Ahab had Israel, as, as uh, uh, you well understand, in a very sordid and decadent condition. They were out of order. They were stymied. There was a, a coldness. There was a starkness. There was a religion, but uh, the religion was, was a melu of, uh, or a maelstrom of confusion and turmoil. And it was confused and it was turmoil, in turmoil because people had rejected truth. Right. It's dangerous when you have truth and then pollute the truth. It's dangerous when you have truth and, and, and dilute it. Amen. I, I don't know about you. I don't like weak pop. Can I get a witness? <clears throat> you ever went to a, 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 a place where they had a fountain machine and the Coke had lost its fizz? And sometimes, you know, you open up a bottle of Coke and you put it in the refrigerator and leave it there a long time. And that pop is gone. It, it's been diluted. Can I get a witness somewhere? Amen. We, 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 we must be careful that, that, that we don't dilute the truth. I want to just say something to us. To every generation, truth never changes. Can I get a witness in here? What was the truth is the truth. And what is the truth will be the truth. Can I get a witness in here? He said, I am the Lord thy God, and I change if not. I don't know about y'all. I'm glad he doesn't change. Because <laughs> if he's changed, I wouldn't be able to depend on him. Can I get a witness? But, but he said, I, I, I don't change. There, there's no shadow of variation in me. Whatever God says, that's what God says. Whatever God establishes, that is what God I'm talking to somebody tonight, uh, 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 somebody in this room, the Lord just tell you I'm good for it. For. May not have happened yet, it may not have come to pass yet, but he said if I told you, <laughs> it shall come to pass. You know, sometimes we... We get casual with God and we put God, uh, you know, we treat God as if he's one of us. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a preacher. I'm a bishop for this season. You allow me to uh, be called your presiding bishop. But I'm going to tell you something. My word is not infallible. I might make a promise and can't keep it. Good intentions. Well, you're the, the lie. No, I may not be lying, but I just can't keep it. <laughs> but, but, but I'm so glad that, that God is in a different classification. Oh, I, I, I heard the Bible say God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that what? That he should repent. He won't trick you and he won't change on you. Somebody clap your hand and give God. Give God a praise right now. You haven't bothered the neighbor tonight, so for the first time, bother your neighbor and tell them he is good for it, and it shall come to pass. Whatever he said to you, it shall come to pass. Whatever he whispered in your ear, it shall come. Whatever was prophesied over your life, it shall come to pass. The Lord just told me to tell you, whatever your grandmother prayed over you, 
it shall come to pass. You know, another thing, just let me drop this in. I'm glad that God is not only is stable, he's strong. So that when the enemies come against his word, he can overwhelm his enemies. Bible said, I think it was, it was Nebuchadnezzar, when he came back to himself, he said, none can stay thy hand or say what doest thou. When God gets to working in your life, the devil can't stop him. Whatever he's up to, whatever he, uh, is percolating beneath the surface, whatever God is working on behind the scenes, Oh, I wish, I wish I could talk to somebody. The Lord told me to tell somebody, I'm working on something you don't even know about. I'm doing it behind your back. Can I get a witness in here? And all you got to do is keep trusting me. That was the, the, the situation here. The situation here was, was there was a dilution in, in Israel. Israel. Israel now had, had somehow veered away from the pathway of God. They had gotten uh, out of sync. They had gotten helter-skelter. They had brought things in to embellish uh, what God had already done. It, it's dangerous when, when you have a spirit that can't be satisfied. Dangerous when, you know, when we're always lusting for other stuff. You know, the Bible, uh, it, it spoke tough language about Israel. God would often indict them. He said, you're whoring after other gods. God, don't let me be a whore. Don't let me. I know y'all looking at me like I said something wrong, but, but that's what God said. You're unfaithful. Always looking over the fence. You know, I wish I could tell uh, some young folk and some old folk, you appreciate being who you are. Can I get a witness in here? Somebody twisted my words the other day and they were out on Facebook arguing, I let them go on and argue. Uh, uh, but, but, but I'm glad to be apostolic and, and Pentecostal. I don't bash other religions. I don't beat up other folk. And, and I know some say, well, you, 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 you shouldn't, you know, uh, use name. I got to call myself something. You know, I, I, I hear all these people, no, 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 don't use names and don't use labels where, where God called folks sinners and folks saints. Yeah. Oh, Y'all ain't trying to talk to me. Can I, can I get a witness in here? Sinners, saints, and ain'ts. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but, but, but everybody fits into some classification and some people misunderstand us when we use the term apostolic. That's not a term that, that means we're better than other folk. That, we're, not, we're not saying we're better than other people. We're not trying to cause division uh, within the realm of Christendom. But, but we do want folk to know that, uh, that we believe in the apostles' doctrine. Oh, I'm in the right church tonight. I, 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 anybody still believe in repentance? And, Anybody still believe in water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Anybody still believe when you go down in this water that your sins are remitted? Anybody know about tearing at the altar till the Holy Ghost comes? The initial evidence is yet speaking in other tongues. I'm apostolic. I need somebody to look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not being uppity. I'm apostolic. What about you? The Bible says they continued steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Can I get a witness in here? And when they continued steadfast, let me tell you something. When you stick with the Bible, signs will follow you. When you, when you stick with the Bible, God will stick with you. These signs, I wish I was in the right church, shall follow who? Them that believe in my name, they're going to do what? Cast out. They're going to lay hands on who? The sick. And they shall recover. <laughs> if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. Can I get a witness in here? We got power to cast out demons. I wish somebody right now would... Just wave a hand and speak over your job and speak over your home and, and say, devil, you have no power here. The blood is against you. 
Not only do I have the blood, I have the name. Let the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it's going to bow. It's going to bow. I'll say, I didn't hear you say it. Tell them it's going to bow. It's going to bow. Whatever's raising up his head in your life, it's going to bow. Whatever's wrestling against you, it's going to bow. It cannot stand. Oh, they were, they were mixed up here. I'm getting ready to close. They were, they were mixed. Eka, they were mixed up here. They were twisted and, and, and had, uh, you know, uh, all of this uh, religion of accommodation, accommodation. And, and uh, maybe that's my mission tonight, to tell the saints of God in this first uh, Episcopal district. Amen. Y'all number one, so we're going to make you number one tonight. Amen. We counting on y'all to hold up the bloodstained bag. Don't, don't, don't compromise. I'm not talking about stuff and things. I'm talking about the core of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't compromise on that gospel. If you dilute it, it won't be what it was. Can I get a witness in here? Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, it, he said because it, it, it has what? The power of God unto salvation. This gospel will deliver you. This gospel will set you free. Can I get a witness in here? And so we must celebrate this gospel. We must hold tenaciously to this gospel. And I charge every young person, I charge every middle-aged person, I charge every old person tonight, if you will allow me, amen, hold tenaciously to the gospel. Hold tenaciously to the truths that, that you've been taught. And let me just say this, you can take these truths and survive in modern times. Can I get a witness in here? You can hold to the truth. And you can make it in modern times. You don't have to cave in. And, 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 and this, is, this is another thing. We, you don't have to change because everybody else is changing. God needs somebody who, who's willing to be different. Willing to, to step out and stand out. I wish I was in the right church. Amen. Don't, don't mind being identified as apostolic. Pentecostal. Yes, I'm Pentecostal. I'm a tongue talker. Can I get a witness in here? Everybody that speaks in tongues, just shout out and say, I speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor if you ain't ashamed, say, yes, I speak in tongues. Yeah. Tell him if you mess with me, I'll speak right now. I got the Holy Ghost. I don't know about y'all. I said, I got the Holy Ghost. I said, I got the Holy Ghost. My tongues are not gibberish. When I speak in tongues, I speak the mysteries of God. Sometimes I pray in tongues. Can I get a witness in here? Sometimes I pray in English, but, but then sometimes I pray in tongues. Because the Holy Ghost takes over and talks to God and tells him stuff that maybe my mind can't handle. Somebody shout glory and hallelujah. Tell your neighbor tongues still work. Try tongues still work. Tongues still work. Tongues go out into the realm of intercession. We know not how to pray. Ah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Once you spoke in tongues, sometimes you go to another level of prayer when you don't even need the tongues. You just lay in the face of God. And the Holy Ghost says, shut up. I'll take over from here. Clap your hands and praise. God. Praise God right now. You, you may be seated. I got to run on in a hurry but thank God for the Holy Ghost I don't know why nobody wouldn't want the Holy Ghost I, something wrong with you if you don't want the Holy Ghost something wrong with you if you don't want a comforter 
He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the comforter has come. The, the comforter. The comforter. I don't want to get too deep. The comforter. He'll ride in your car with you. Nobody else in the car. The, the comforter. He'll get into bed with you. Oh yes he will. I'm not talking nothing crazy. But, but when the demons walk through your bedroom. God will lay down beside you. The comforter. Comforter. Tell one more name. I got a comforter. I got, got a comforter. Hallelujah. When I'm sad, he makes me glad. When I'm frowning, he puts a smile on my face. When I'm weak, he holds me up. The comforter. The paraclete. Nobody can do you like Jesus. He's in a class. All by himself. Vasa. Would you just celebrate? You don't have to get up, but would you celebrate Jesus for me for a moment? Celebrate. Don't do it just because I said it. Do it because you're genuinely happy. If you're happy that Jesus is in your life, if you're happy that, that you're his child, celebrate him right now like you lost your mind. Celebrate! Oh. Look at your neighbor and say, The Lord is nigh unto thee, even in your mouth. If you open your mouth right now, he'll be whatever you want him to be. You say he's a burden bearer, he'll bear your burdens. If you say he's a healer, he'll heal your mouth. Open your mouth. You may be seated. Take your seat. While you're sitting down, shout out something else he is. Shout out something else you need. Did you say he's my money? Did you say he's my friend? Did you say he's my way maker? Did you say he's my burden bearer? My heart fixer? My mind regulator? Ah! He comes, he comes, city. Oh! Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and give him glory. The quicker you give him glory, the quicker he'll show up. The quicker you praise him. The quicker he'll work it out for you. The quicker you tell him thank you. Hallelujah. 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 I got to move on, but the Lord... <clears throat> just told me to tell somebody help is on the way help is on the way help is on the way help is on so here we are in this text can I have about six minutes this text you may be seated this text this text this text this text it it, 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 it talks to us you got to be careful you got to be careful not to get twisted and, and caught up with everybody else. And that's what Ahab did. He got twisted and caught up with everybody else. He was trying to keep up with everybody else. You can keep up with everybody else but lose God. I'd rather be in sync with God and lose out with everybody else. When my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. You got to learn how to, how to be different and, and dwell in that chasm and dwell in that place apart. And Ahab didn't do that. And I, need, I got five minutes now. He didn't do it. He got twisted and contorted. And that's where uh, Jezebel got in his life. I'm not going to go down that track, but you got to watch who you allow in your life. 
Watch who you allow into your sacred space. Can I get a witness in here? Because there's some, uh, Paul talks about it on this wise. He said they, they, they've spied out our liberty. And they're there to, 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 to rob us of our freedom. Stand fast in the liberty. I feel like preaching tonight. Stand, stand fast in the liberty where with Christ have, have made thee free. Let it, let it not be said of us regardless of our generation. All oh, foolish Galatians who have bewitched you. You did do well. I, I don't want God to say you did do well. I want God to say well done. Thou good and faithful servant in and now into the presence of the Lord. And, and so Ahab was mixed up. Uh, Jezebel got in his space and and uh, all the other things that we can't talk about tonight because time won't allow us to talk about it. Syncretism, that's one of the words um, uh, I probably learned hanging around Bishop Moore. Syncretism, syncretism. They, amen. You know, you, know, you know, it's a religion of accommodation. Uh, amen. You know, we don't let a little bit in and, 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 and so we can get along, going along to get along. You know, <clears throat> when you stand, it costs you something. But... But, but when you compromise, you can smooze and booze and, and, and get along. That's what syncretism was. We, we're going to take a little bit of everybody's religion and, 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 and we're going to work it out. Everybody's religion don't work. And, can I get, only thing work is the truth. Uh, uh, they, 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 got, got, they got mixed up. He married that woman. I'm not going to tell the young folks, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, 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 not married them unsaved people. I don't think I have to tell you that. Uh, Amen. They'll, they'll mess you up every time. They'll mess you up every time. You, you need somebody that loves the Lord like you love the Lord. You need somebody with, who, who can pray when you ain't praying. Y'all listen. You need somebody that'll fast. Don't act like you pray all the time. Sometimes you get in a, in a season where you don't feel like praying. And, but you need a partner that, that'll pray for you. You need a real intercessor. Can I get a witness? When you ain't fasting, they need to be fasting. Can I get a witness? When you don't want to go to church, they need to say, come on and let's go to church. You gotta, we've got to watch that spirit of, of being unequally yoked. And, 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 and not just in marriage. Uh, you've got to watch uh, who you allow to be called your friend. You gotta, uh, everybody tell somebody, watch your friend space. Watch. Watch your friend's space because the devil has agents that he sends into the church. Can I take my time for a minute? Uh, <clears throat> Jesus said they crept in unaware. Amen. While, while they slept, the enemy crept in. And, and so there are people that, that will come into your life to dilute your salvation, to, to pull you away from God, to, 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 to lead you down another pathway. And the devil is so clever. Amen. You won't know he got you until he got you. you you'll be like Samson who laid his head in Delilah's lap and and, uh, you know, I don't, she wind him up and rubbed him up. Y'all may as well walk with me tonight. Amen. Made him feel good. And, and while he was asleep, she cut his hair. Y'all, can I get a witness in here? And said, Samson, the Philistines be upon thee. And, and, and he jumped up. Amen. And, 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 and got ready to fight. But the Bible says he found himself like any other man. I don't want to be like any other man. I don't want to be like any other woman. I, I have been created. I have been reborn to be extraordinary. Oh, I wish I was in the right church. Tell your neighbor, if the Lord saved you, he, he saved you. I ain't saying nothing. If he saved you, help a tired preacher preach. Tell him if he saved you, he saved you to be extraordinary. Not just ordinary, but extraordinary ordinary over and beyond ordinary you're not ordinary if you have God you're you're not ordinary you're not ordinary now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that he may ask or even think uh, uh, he's, he wants you to be in another place but but if you get with people the wrong people they'll pull you out of your place they'll they'll strip you of your anointing you you'll lose your prayer life you you'll, you'll lose your favor oh I, didn't david say lord whatever you do don't don't take your spirit 
away from me. I, I need your presence. I, I, I need the overshadowing of your power. I, I need to be able to discern you. I need to be in that space where, where I can hear your voice. We used to sing a song. Can I take my time still? Sing a song when I was growing up. I don't hear it too much anymore. He said, Lord, I want to hear every message clear. He said, I want every word to come true. He said, well, if I make it in, hey, man, I must be drawn closer to thee. Closer, closer, closer. We used to sing another song. We don't sing that no more. Close to thee. Close to thee. Anybody know that song? Wave your hand. Close to thee. Close. While I'm on this pilgrim journey, Savior, let me walk close to thee. I, I don't know who you want to be. I want to be John. I, I want to be John and who had his head in the bosom of Jesus. I, I want to be John of whom it was said he's the disciple that Jesus loved. If I, oh, I, anybody in here feel like they got it going on with Jesus? Uh, then tell your neighbor, I got it going on with Jesus. Uh, tell him I'm the one that he loves. Y'all Y'all act like, like y'all afraid to say it. I, I, I wish I had somebody that was persuaded of the love of Jesus to, to tell your neighbor tonight, I'm the one that he loves. Y'all Oh, there ought to be a tug of war going on in the room. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one that Jesus loves. I, I rest in his bosom. I, I stay close to him. I talk to him in the morning. I talk to him at noonday. I talk to him at midnight. Some of y'all got a casual relationship going on. But, but me and Jesus, we got a serious thing. We got a serious thing going on. I don't, I don't know how often you talk to Jesus. Y some of y'all done forgot how it was when, back in the day when you were courting. I remember when I was courting. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Hey Amen. You, you would just get, get her on the phone. Get him on the phone. Hey Amen. You remember Jamie. Yeah, she patting his knee right now. Yeah. You get him on the phone. Talk way up in the night. Ain't even talking about nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hey Amen. You, you were so in love until you fell asleep. <laughs> Snoring on the phone, but you just, you just held the phone. See, when you're in love, you can hold the line and, and ain't nothing going on. No noise going on. That's how, that's how it ought to be with Jesus. I just want to be in his presence. Oh! just want to be in his presence as the heart panteth after the water brook. I wish, I wish I had some hungry folk here tonight. I wish I had some thirsty folk here tonight. Is there anybody here that loves my Jesus? Let me see. Let me see you wave your hand. If you love him, tell somebody, I really love the Lord. Don't me tell your neighbor, say, I really love him. I and love him and then ask them why do you love him answer them back and said he's done so much for me he gave me the victory I, I really love him I really love him. blow him a kiss and say Jesus I love you Jesus y'all ain't acting like you're in love blow him a kiss and say Lord I love you Lord I love you then ask your neighbor again, how much do you love him? Answer them and say, more than anything, more than life itself, more than wealth itself. I love you, Jesus, more than I love him better every day. Y'all y'all ain't saying sweeter as the day. Sweeter, sweeter, sweeter. Y'all can make me preach to myself. I wish I had five people to holler back at me and say, sweeter, sweet, sweet day goes by. Sweeter as the day goes by. Richer, fuller, deeper. Jesus makes it sweeter. Sweeter as the day. Sweeter than the honeycomb. Oh, taste and see. All taste, y'all ain't talking. All taste and see that the Lord, y'all ain't like tonight, that the Lord is what? His mercy endureth what? Forever. I tried him. Somebody go God of praise. I got to hurry on. I don't have time to tell. 
this story. It's time to, to get ready to close. It's time to bring this service to a close tonight. We don't have time to walk through every dilemma. I don't have time to fool with Jezebel. I don't have time to tell you everything. Out of order. Everything is contorted. Everything is twisted. The had to have has to come down. Or rather, uh, uh, Elijah to come down and get Ahab. To, and he tells Ahab, there shall not be dew nor rain in the next uh, three years. But according to my word word uh, and talk about it but the Lord told me to tell you you got power in your uh, I wish I could talk amen if you say it and it's in alignment with his will he'll do it and the Lord told me I was talking it. some of y'all ain't saying it enough amen yes God has his will but you must declare will it's our responsibility to open up our mouth and there, thus saith the Lord, the rest up uh, until Elijah said, and the Lord told me, some of y'all need to speak over your house. And this speak over your children. I'm in the wrong church. Oh, I wish you'd tell your neighbor the power of the tongue. Tell them mouth shut. Oh, the glory of the Lord, if you say God will do it if you say it. God will work it out if you add. God will bring it to you. Speak. God bless you. If you speak healing, God will hear you. Speak deliverance. God will deliver you. To wait for the preacher to come to your house. You don't on yourself. And you can repent. Peter's word. Somebody need to do that. Right now. But If there's a pain in your hand on your
Will you halt between two opinions? He, he said, we got to put him to the test. If Baal be God, follow him. But if God be God, follow him. Tell somebody, make up your mind. Make up, make up your mind. You, you can't be in church, uh, thank God, on Sunday morning and in the club on Saturday night. Make up your mind. You can't be telling Jesus that I love you and got five sweethearts on the side. Make up your mind. Make up. Make up. How long will you halt between two opinions? He said, we're going to put him to the test. Meet me at the foot of the mountain and everybody's going to build a sacrifice to their God. Bill, you build your sacrifice and, and those that belong to God, you build your sacrifice. You know the Bible story. They built the sacrifice, put the, built the altar and put the sacrifice on the altar and and then, and, 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 and then Baal's prophets took their turn first and called on their false god. Oh, Baal, oh, Baal. Called him. Y'all remember that? Called him all day long from morning to noon. Baal! Baal, no answer. Baal! Baal, no answer. See, Baal! Yeah, 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 it don't make no difference how loud you holler if you ain't got no connection. You, you, you need a connection. Can, can I get a witness in here? Tell your neighbor, I got a connection. Uh, Tell them I'm making it because I got a connection. They don't understand. Tell them I got a, the old folks say I got a telephone in my bosom. Oh, if you call on Jesus, can I get a witness in here? They, they called their God, but there was no connection. And because there was no connection, there was no answer. He mocked them. Pastor Henley said, maybe your job, God is on a hunt. Amen. Maybe he's taking a rest. Maybe he's on a vacation. Uh, amen. But ain't you glad you serve a God uh, that neither slumbereth nor sleep all day and all night? He's watching over you. The Lord told me, I, I watch over you when you sleep. I watch over you in your dreams. And a matter of fact, he said, I live in your dream life. And, and that's why I won't let the nightmare run you out of your mind. I, that's why I won't let the devil, I feel like talking here tonight. I won't let him run over you. Can I get a witness? I won't let him run over you. Tell your neighbor that the Lord told the bishop to tell me to tell you that I won't let the devil run over you. I, I've already set his boundaries. Matter of fact, I built a fence around you. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. He can't do but so much. He, he can't go but so far. And they, 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 they had their turn. They never got an answer. And then the Elijah's turn came. He said, get four barrels of water. Fill it up with water, pour it on the altar. And you know what they did. They did it one time, two times. Can I have three minutes? They did it a third time. Water was everywhere. It saturated the sacrifice. It saturated the wood, thank God, on the altar. Water was everywhere. Amen. But he began to pray. And he said, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God 
of Jacob. I'm glad, amen, that I know who I'm worshiping. I, I don't have to be like other folk and, and, and go along with Buddha and go along with Confucianism. I don't have to be a compromising preacher. Can I get a witness? You don't have to be a compromising saint. You can, you can just stand for that one God and, and you can talk about him with specificity. Amen. The God of Abraham. I wish y'all would talk to me. Say it with me. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob, I know in whom I have believed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not twisted tonight. I know in whom I have believed. And he called on him. And you know what happened. It didn't take all night. It don't take all night to pray. Amen. All you got to do is open your mouth. If you call him, he'll answer. If you call him, he'll show up. And they called him and God answered by fire. Sent fire out of heaven. What kind of fire is this that drinks water? What kind of fire is this that eats up drenched wood? What kind of fire is this that, that gobbles up the sacrifice? No wonder Moses said our God is a consuming fire. Lord told me to tell you I'm going to burn up whatever's holding you back. I'm going to burn up. I'm going to burn it up. Look at your neighbor and said, God said, I'm going to burn it up. I'm going to burn the chains off. I'm going to burn the yoke off your neck. I'm going to burn it up. I'm going to burn the mess out your spirit. I'm going to burn back envy and strife and malice and jealousy. I'm going to burn it up. I'm going to burn up, amen, the hole that the haters have on you. I'm going to burn up that station that demon powers have set up in your mind. He said, I'm going to burn it up. I am a consuming fire. And you know what happened when God burned up the altar. The people gave him glory and said, the Lord, he is God. I, I dare you to point up yonder and say, the Lord is God. I tell him, I don't know who your God is, but the Lord is God. One Lord, one faith. One baptism. Y'all don't want to help me finish. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. Everybody don't know who Jesus is. But I know who he is tonight. Look in two directions and say, neighbor, I know who he is. Say it again. I know who he is. Look behind you and say, I know who he is. Lean in front of you and say, I know who he is the lily of the valley he's the bright and morning star I know who he is everybody don't know but I know who he is he's my way maker can I get a witness in here he's the joy of my salvation he's my bridge over troubled water he's my way I don't know I know who he is he's my healer it's like fire shut up in my bones I wish I had somebody to say hey neighbor I know who he is I tried him I tried him is there anybody here tonight that tried my Jesus let me see your hand if you know what I'm talking about look back at your neighbor and say I tried him and I found him to be all right I tried him and found out whatever I needed God had I tried him he was my doctor in the sick room my lawyer in the courtroom I wish I had somebody to help me celebrate the Lord tonight if you feel like I feel, let somebody hear you shouting out. I came, I came to celebrate the Lord. You don't know what he's done for me, but I came to celebrate him. Look where he brought me from. Look what he brought me out of. Look at what he did for me. He picked me up. I wish somebody I wish I had some young folk that would get demonstrative with it. <laughs> when you show your neighbor, <laughs> say he picked me up. 
turned me around set my feet on solid ground he put running in my feet clapping in my hands praises on my lips joy in my dance sit down can't sit down sit down I can't sit down oh I got to close tonight I don't have time to tell the whole story three and a half years went by that's where we get to our chapter three and a half years famine everywhere three and a half years no water to drink no no food in the land I heard the Bible say well there was a famine in the land and everybody else was starving I heard the Lord say somebody shout glory he sent the man of God to a brook called Kerif I heard the Bible say he commanded the raven to bring him bread and meet in the evening bread and meet in the morning if you have a testimony I dare you to turn to somebody pat your hand on your chest and say hey neighbor I was younger but now I'm older I've never seen I've never seen oh I wish somebody would help me moan tonight open your mouth wide and say I never seen the righteous forsaken his seed bread and bread when you tell somebody he's always been there for me he may not come when you want him oh but he's always I feel like telling somebody he's an on time God I wish you would talk back to me he's an on time God yes he is may not come when you want him but he's always can I have three more minutes pat somebody on the back and say when I thought it was over then came Jesus when I thought all was lost then came Jesus when I was ready to throw in the towel then came Jesus he always looks out for me he always makes a way for me he always fights my battles when I hold my peace I got to close I got to close I got to close oh the brook dried up the brook dried up and it still wasn't over he said go on down to Zarephath because I commanded a widow to sustain you the Lord just told me to tell somebody tonight you ought to praise me because I just ordered up your next blessing you ought to praise me somebody help me preach can I get some young people to point at another young person can I get some old folk to point at a young person and say you're next in line for a miracle it's your turn now it's your time now it's your hour now. get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready tell an old person it's your time to find you an older person tell them God has not forgotten you the devil is a liar he's a deceiver too but God is not through blessing you 
one more miracle one more deliverance one more victory hold on hold on can i have two and a half minutes open your mouth and say hold on y'all ain't gonna help me put your hand on your hip if your brother put it behind your back and get your preacher voice and say hold on hold on hold on i heard i heard the prophet i heard the prophet said go tell ahab get me up eat and drink i wish i had somebody that came to church tonight i'm talking to the droopy heart i'm talking to the downtrodden i'm talking to the heavy laden i'm talking to the burden the lord told me to tell you it's party time it's party time you don't have to wait till the battle's over you can shout Shout, 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 shout right now. Look at your neighbor and say, hey neighbor, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? Help is on the way. Go look toward the sea. Go look toward the sea. Look toward the sea. Tell me. Is gone. You went the first time, didn't see nothing. You went the second time, didn't see nothing. Three, four, five, six, still don't see nothing. But uh, the seventh time, I see a cloud about the size of a man's hand. Look at your neighbor and say, Hey, neighbor. What you waiting on? If you pray in him for little things, he'll make it a big thing. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I don't know about you, but I came to lift up Jesus. I wonder who will help me lift Jesus. I wonder who will help me celebrate. Who will? Who will? Who will? Yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. I got to close. I got to close. I read. I read that verse in your hearing tonight. It said the cloud got dark. Somebody shout glory. The clouds got dark and then the rain. The Lord told me to tell you as I go to my seat, the darker it is, the more rain that's coming your way. The darker it is. Somebody help me tell your name. I'm in a dark place, but the light is getting ready to come on. Get ready, get ready for the rain. There shall be showers of blessing. Rain on me, Jesus. Rain on me, Jesus. Rain. On me, Jesus. rain on me.